So it's been over a year since COVID started, and since then, I started playing a new game that came out. Some may say, Darren, you are way too old <laughs> to be playing video games. To that, I would argue that I think video games are a great way for people like me to get their mind off of work, but also to engage their mind in a creative and analytical strategic way. Now, the game I've been playing is called Valorant, and it has just really honestly been blowing up since its launch last year. As as, you know, I've been playing and the months have gone by, I've stayed really intrigued, but, but one thing has really caught my eye. So since I am in the app making business, I wanted to see if anybody was making apps about Valorant and they are. If we do a quick uh, Valorant search on the Google Play Store, you can see quite a few have already popped up for Valorant apps. Some of these are better than others, but the ones that I've seen the most of are like this one here. It is what is called a directory app, which means it's just just a directory of things that are in the game for the most part. There may be other features in some of these apps, but basically it's showing you like all the characters that are in the game, the guns in the game, the different maps in the game and things like that. Now, I'm not saying apps like this are good or bad or anything like that. I think some of them are quite cool, but when it comes to making the app and making an app for myself, I don't want to create an app where I have to go in and update it every time something new comes out in the game. Now, all of this kind of changes changed for me and piqued my interest this past weekend when I came across this website. It's called the spike.gg. I thought, you know, cool, awesome. They're creating a, a website where you can follow all the tournaments that go on around the game and look at rankings and things like that. But when I scroll down here, I saw this not affiliated with Riot Games. That's when I was like, there is no way someone is making all of this integration without an API. And I was like, I wanna check out this API. And if you are asking, Darren, what is an API? There are plenty of articles on it. You can Google it. But basically, API is an application programming interface. And what that means is you on your computer can send a request to an API that API will then grab something from the database based off your request and send you a response back. So it's a way for you to interact with someone else's data and they will send stuff back to you. So naturally when I learn something and I'm curious, I want to create something with that and then share it with you guys. Here is what I came up with. Valorant has different game modes, but one of them is competitive. This is where you can play against other Valorant players and you're trying to climb the ranks to get to this Radiant status. And eventually, once you get to Radiant, you're trying to climb to the top of the leaderboard and become the best player of Valorant. Now, I'm really intrigued with the top players in the game, and I really like to watch them stream on Twitch, the ones that, that do stream, because it helps me learn new things and learn how to play better and all of that great stuff. I wanted to make an app where I could check to see who's currently ranking at the top of the leaderboard so that I could go and check out their Twitch streams without having to log into the game. Now to make this app, I've really been liking making apps with Glide lately. So we're going to make this app in three easy steps. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what API we need to use. The second thing we need to do is get the response or the data from that API into a Google Sheet. And then the third thing we'll do is create a Glide app that looks at that Google Sheet to display the leaders at the top of the leaderboard. All right, so I tracked down the API and it's available at developer.riotgames.com. Now Riot Games is who makes the game Valorant. They have a few different games and APIs under there. So it's just under Riot Games Developer. I created an account and this got me an API key, which is what we'll need to access the data. Now, one quick thing to note is that these are developer API keys. They only persist for 24 hours if I wanted to publish like a production application, I would have to request a production API key and get registered as a Valorant or a Riot Games developer. So now that we have our API key, we can go and have a look at the different APIs. Now here we can see all kinds of APIs that are available, but the one that I want, since I'm looking at the ranked players, is right down here, Valorant or Val Ranked. 
And if we look inside of this, which I already have, hint, hint, you'll see that an act ID is required. Now, the ranking in Valorant gets reset every two to three months, and these are called acts. They tell you right here that the act IDs can be found in the Val Content API. So I'm gonna go over to Val Content, and this is a single API request. I'm gonna grab this ENUS, just so that things are in my language for the locale. I'm gonna use my developer API key, switch the region to NA for North America, and then execute the request. So this is going to submit a request and down here is the body of the request. Now this is JSON, there's a ton of data here, but down at the bottom, we'll see AX, and then just peeking through this, since I know kind of how the game goes, we're currently in episode two, and then we can see there's an ACT three, and then there's an ACT two, Act three is active, is set to false. That's because act three hasn't started yet. So the act that I'm concerned with is right here, act two, and here is the act ID. So I can flip back over to the ranked API and I will plug in the act ID here. Again, I'm gonna set the region to NA. For size, I'm just gonna grab the first 100 and we're gonna start from zero. If I execute that request, it's then going to give me a 200 response, which means good. And then here are the top 100 players. And I know uh, from what we were looking at earlier that Hiko is currently ranked number three. So that is all good and well. So this right here is the API link that will give me the data that I need for the app that we're gonna be working on. All right, now that we have the API URL, we are ready to get started with the second step, which is getting the data into a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna create a new Google Sheet and call it Valorant Leaderboard. I've looked around for different tools and the best one that I've found comes as an add-on inside of uh, Google Sheets here and it's called Coupler IO. And you can get this by going to get add-ons and searching here for Coupler. And then it's right here. So you just install it and create a free account with them. And the reason I went with this one is because they do have a free tier that I can use for this project. So once you have it as an add-on, you can click on Coupler IO and open the dashboard. Awesome, so what they call these little things that will grab the API response and put it into the sheet is called an importer. So I'm gonna add a new importer. And what we're gonna use is a JSON client. So an API uh, returns JSON. So this is a JSON client. So this is what we'll be setting up. And we'll just call this uh, Valorant Leaderboard Data. And then the source URL is gonna be that URL that we created inside of the Valorant uh, developer API. And we're gonna use my email, sheet name is fine. And what I can do is turn on automatic data refresh and that will make this update the sheet every hour. I'm not gonna do that for this demo just because this is a developer API key, but if I had a production API key, I could turn this on and it would it could refresh the data up to every hour. So I'm gonna click save and run. Awesome, so now that the run has completed, you might be shocked that there's nothing here, but that's because they've created a new tab. So I'm just gonna delete this temporary one. And then we can see here, we now have 100 rows of data for the top 100 of the Valorant players. And I don't wanna treat this too lightly, how cool this is, how this uh, software, this tool here will take that API response and automatically put it into a, a table for you. I think that that is really, really neat. And uh, I'm really glad that a client of mine shared this tool with me. All right, so if you don't have a Glide account yet, I will have my referral link down in the description, uh, but you'll go ahead and sign up there. And then once you're inside, uh, you can go ahead and create an app by clicking on new app. And then we're creating one not from Glide tables, but from Google Sheets. And this will pull up Google Sheets, my Google account. And then I wanna create an app based off Valorant leaderboard. It goes ahead and creates like a what it thinks is a good list. So it puts everything in a list viewer, which I think is great, but it's not showing the values that I want to see. So I can come over here to inline list. That's what you're seeing right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and change some of the things that are displaying. Let's take a look at our data just to see what values we want. Now I see here, these are the names of the players. 
So I want to show players game name and then really this other stuff is good but not really the high level stuff that we need. So the other thing I'm going to show is this leaderboard rank so that we can always see what number these players are ranked at. So let's go ahead and apply that change. So in the inline list I'm going to get rid of the image here by clearing that out and unchecking show title image when image is not available. And then for title, I'm gonna change this to players game name. And then details, I'm gonna change that to players leaderboard rank, get that to refresh. And then right now, if I click on this, it's gonna to go to what's called a details page. And I'm just not, I don't really need that right now. So what I can do is come back to inline list and in action, instead of view details, I can just change that to none. So that way when I click on it, nothing happens, that arrow goes away. And then I also want this number here to show on the right. So I can do that by going to inline list and changing the item size to compact, refresh that. And then now we have the number showing on the right. And then the last thing I'll do, and maybe actually I'll leave this here. Um, so if I, and now I can actually search for players. So got Hiko. So yeah, now we have a glide app that shows us the rankings, the current rankings of all of the Valorant uh, Radiance leaders. Awesome. So all we have to do to publish this is come up to the top right and go to publish, publish app. And then I'm going to change this to Valorant dash leader board. Let's exit out of that. Click on this arrow and that will open up my app inside of a new window. So now this app is publicly available and all I need to do is scan this QR code to get it on my phone. Alrighty, so I have my camera out and I'm gonna go ahead and scan that QR code and that is going to automatically pull the app up on my phone and then I can just hit the share button right here and that will invite me to add it to my home screen. So the app is now on my home screen. You can see it there, the rainbows. And then now I can view this leaderboard on my phone all through the power of an API and a simple app making tool like Glide. Now I have something that I want to give you for free and it's really in response to a struggle that I see a lot of people who are getting into this no code app making space and it's an area they really struggle with. And it's kind of what we went over in the video today. It's working with APIs. So if you uh, have an idea, this video sparked an idea and you for an app you wanna make and you're gonna be interacting with APIs, what I wanna give you is my APIs Made Simpler ebook. It's gonna be available, it's the first link down in the description. And basically it goes through, there's really two kind of parts to it. The first part is covering JSON, which is kind of really important when it comes to APIs. It's what you get in response from making an API call. And then it goes into defining all the different pieces that you need to know about when you're working with APIs. So if you want that APIs made simpler ebook, just follow the link down in the description. And I'm also gonna be honest, this little project, I haven't done a video in a while, this project sparked a lot Lot of ideas that I could take this and build on top of this app. So if you want to follow up with those videos and see what I eventually end up creating, you'll have to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And that's all for now. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.